always talk about that, and Marley's always that one girl that I never liked her in high school, but I never played against her, I didn't know her, and now we're roommates, we're great friends. So it's been an awesome experience just getting the opportunity to do this. It may have seemed unimaginable five years ago, but Tori Neiman and Marley Hall are in fact teammates now in Macomb. And the first truly homegrown fan base hooks Leatherneck basketball, men's or women's, have had since J.D. Summers. Getting Tori and Marley, I mean, um, really big name, local kids, I think was important to us. Uh, getting a couple of kids from Iowa, you know, Mallory Boyle was picked of the preseason freshman of the year. Um, you know, I think that, uh, that getting that local can really energize the fan base. I really do. It was actually a, a few weeks ago I was back home at Casey's, you know, the only thing they have in Warsaw, and I actually had four out of the five people in there say they're excited to come to games so I'm really getting that and it's really exciting. Definitely I've had a lot of local people say they're excited to come watch it's not a far drive from both me and Marley's hometowns everyone's excited to watch Marley Hall watch me play together so we're really excited to see the local kids local community and it's gonna be fun. And that's one of the reasons we're playing Quincy in exhibition uh, even though I swore not to do that uh, I went ahead and did it because I think that's so great for the fans to get to see you know girls like Tori Neiman and Marley Hall play against girls like Lucy Cramsey again um, and I think it'll be a fun game to watch. Which brings us to the more pressing question, what will Tori and Marley bring to the floor for the Leathernecks? Certainly enthusiasm after both spent a year sitting out Division I transfers, Tori from Mizzou, Marley from Illinois State. It's been a long road and I don't know how a lot of people do it. It is very, very difficult and I know a lot of people would agree with me, but um, I'm really excited to get going and I think everyone else on the team is too. I think what people see out of Marley is more what they saw in high school, which is an all-around player, someone who's going to step out, hit a three. She's a really excellent passer from the high post um, and also someone that can kind of dominate down low. So if, if Marley is able to play healthy, even at 80, 90 percent, um, I think she could be a very unique player in this conference. Last year was so long and it's coming up it's next week you know and it's here and I'm just so excited it's like my Christmas that's what I described it this weekend and I'm so excited yeah she's so long and she's really fast um, defensively she's dynamic just as she is offensively she runs the floor really well she rebounds well she can take a smaller guard inside and post her up she can take a slower player outside hit threes and slash so uh, Tori will be a big part because she's so diverse